Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. Today I have for you a very special video. This is something that I've been working on for the last few weeks. Uh, this is gonna be officially my first collab and I'm doing this video in collaboration with Mara from Be Free Have Fun. And before we get into this video, I do wanna give a quick shout out to Mara and to tell her thank you and I am very grateful for you thinking of me. When she reached out to me, I had just recently started my YouTube channel. So it really meant the world to me. I mean, she could have picked anybody else, right? Uh, so I'm very, very grateful for this opportunity. And I hope you enjoy all my polish picks, all my many ideas for Valentine's Day. Mara, on the other hand, for her channel, she's gonna do some nail art. She's obviously a lot more talented than me. I have no skills when it comes to nail art. I don't know how to do nail art at all. So she's gonna take care of that for you guys. So if you're interested in nail art, make sure to go check out her channel. I will link all her social media, all her accounts down in the description box. So please go show her some love. You will not regret it. On her channel, she focuses on swatching soya polishes. So if you ever have a question about a soya, she's your girl. She knows her so yes. I have no doubt that you guys will love her channel and her personality. She's a great human overall. And I'm just so glad that, you know, she offered me this opportunity to get me out of my comfort zone and to step out and be able to do this collaboration. I am, I am so grateful and this is just a very special moment for me. Um, words, words can describe it. So. Thank you so much, Mara, for thinking of me. Okay, so let's get started. Like I mentioned, I'm gonna be doing nail polish picks, mani ideas, nothing complicated here, just simple, easy, on-the-go manis for you. So let's start off with the mani that I think it's perfect for everybody. A nude polish goes with everything, it never fails. And if you're worried about your clothes for the night or your handbag crashing with the color of your nails, you do not have to worry about that when you're wearing a nude polish. If you're looking for a romantic, dainty kind of look on your nails for Valentine's Day, in my opinion, I think the nude polish is the way to go. I personally like to go with the rosy tone nude for Valentine's Day, and I picked this one from Salon Perfect, which comes from the Naked Nutrients Collection. And this is in the color Birthmark Beauty. And again, you can pick whichever nude works best for you this is just my personal pick from my stash I think this kind of mani is a no-brainer like I said it goes with everything it's very soft very romantic for the occasion and since we're talking about naked nude nails I think it's very appropriate to mention that a sheer polish can also work for this now you're into the nude naked nails idea but you still feel kind of bad for leaving out some of the classic colors from Valentine's Day like red or a pink you can transform this mani very quick and not lose the softness and romanticity that the nude nails provide and this is as far as I'm gonna go with nail art okay so don't get too excited uh, but what I did is that I used, I just picked a red polish. This is Red Red from Wet n Wild. This polish is a one coater, less than a dollar, and I think it's amazing. So what I did for this quick transformation is I added a drop of the red polish into aluminum foil, and then with the bobby pin, because again, I don't have a dotting tool. Uh, I don't do nail art. So I used a bobby pin, and then I just placed a dot on the bottom of my nail just to add a quick, soft, red accent to your nude nails. You're still not losing the nude. I think it would still match with your outfit and you still don't have to worry about any of that. I used Red Red on top of Birthmark Beauty and I don't necessarily think they go really well together. I think a pink would have gone a lot better with this specific nude. But like I said, this is just an idea. You can always play around with the colors and make it your own. The next Manny idea is also a no-brainer. I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm talking about. It's the classic red Manny or the classic pink Manny for Valentine's Day. I personally decided to go with the red because I do not like wearing pink that much. That's just my personal preference. I will show you in a little bit how I prefer to wear pink. But for my red, I picked this one from L'Oreal, and this is in Red Tote. As you can see, Red Tote is a lot darker than Red Red, but that's just my personal preference. And again, it goes back to the same thing. You can use whichever red you prefer. I personally love a deep burgundy kind of red for Valentine's Day. And to be honest, the darker the red, the better for me. I just think these kind of colors are very sexy. So if you're like me and you're just not good with nail art, or you don't have time to do nail art, but you still want to have that element of surprise in your mani, I think color combinations is the way to go, like trying an accent nail. It's a very fun way to switch up your mani that requires no expert level skills. My favorite color combo for Valentine's Day is gray and pink. 
this is one of the ways that I like wearing pink always with another color. That way I don't have to focus so much on the pink. This is where you have fun and you pick any color combo that speaks to you. You might wanna use one classic color for Valentine's Day like the reds and the pinks. But if you don't, just go crazy. You do not have to wear red and pink if you don't feel like it. I mean, have fun, like I said. If you wanna wear black nails, you go for black. If you wanna wear gold, go for gold. I personally like introducing the pink in this combo. I would also like a purple and pink. I think that would look amazing. Or a gold with red. Even black and red, I think that combo is beautiful. I've seen manis with white and pink, white and red. I mean, the, the possibilities are endless. The gray polish that I picked is from Salon Perfect and it is from the Naked Nutrients collection as well. This one is in Stick to Your Guns. And it is a slate gray cream with a hint of rose. I feel like the pink tone in this gray goes hand in hand with my pink polish pick, which is French Affair from Essie. French Affair is a retro pink. It's a very beautiful light baby pink. Overall, this is a perfect polish for Valentine's Day. You can wear it on its own, maybe top with the glitter. That would even be amazing too. All right, so the last category that I have is my favorite way to do my nails for Valentine's Day. I've talked about it before on my channel. I like glitter, I like sparkle. So for my nails on Valentine's Day, I want them to scream. I want them to pop. I want them to be the main center of attention, which is why I picked a holographic polish. And I am gonna insert a close up of this beautiful polish. The light coming in from my window is not helping it at all. But this is a beautiful light pink holographic from Color Club, and this is in the color Miss Bliss. If I'm gonna wear pink, it's gonna be on a holographic. I don't gravitate too much into pink creams. That's just a personal preference, but a pink hollow, you can sign me up for that. This polish from Color Club is not the most intense hollow I've seen, but it is very strong. So this is not for the faint of heart. You need to make sure that you really want your nails to be the star of the show if you're gonna be wearing this polish. However, if it's not in direct sunlight, it looks like a very beautiful soft pink. It is very subtle and it looks amazing both indoors and outdoors. And the last Manny idea that I have for you slash favorite way for me to wear pink is with glitter. If you haven't noticed, I have some glittery pink nails today. And like I said, I am gonna be wearing some holographic nails or a glitter for Valentine's Day, I'm not sure yet. For now, what I have on my nails, and this is a beautiful glitter. This is my first time wearing it. I thought I was gonna be able to get it opaque on its own, but I don't think I was very successful. I applied three coats and I can still see some visible nail line, but it's such, it's so beautiful. It looks very soft, even though I'm, it's all glitter. It's a glitter pack polish. I will insert a close-up picture, by the way. Which, in a way, I kind of wish I didn't have to because I feel like the pictures don't do justice to this polish. You just kind of have to trust me that this polish looks amazing on the nails. And this is Love Bug from Polish for Days. This polish contains holographic, white, and pink glitters, as well as magenta shards. It's definitely in a clear base, but I feel like this polish has a lot of holographic shimmer in the vase as well. It's very beautiful. I am showing three coats of this polish on my nails. I tried to get it as opaque as I could without having to use a vase because I really wanted the glitter to be the main focus. And you know, if you like glitter, but not to that level where you want to be screaming glitter, 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 you can always use a color for a base and just do one coat of the glitter on top. Just like I'm showing you here on this quick swatch that I did with red, red topped off with Love Bug from Polish for Days. One coat of glitter over a cream polish will really make your mani pop out in such a subtle way. My glitter polish pick is obviously from an indie maker and I don't believe Polish for Days makes Love Bug anymore. So I wanted to quickly share with you other options at the drugstore that are very affordable and are perfect glitters for the occasion. First up, we have Simple Colors and here in my hand I have Kissful Thinking, which was limited editions from last year, I think, but do not quote me on that. Simple Colors has amazing glitter toppers that are market for Valentine's Day. If you're having a hard time finding the limited edition Valentine's Day polishes from Simple Colors, they do have amazing red, white, and pink glitters on their core line. I also wanna give a quick mention to this beautiful glitter from Revlon. This is Hearts of Gold FX, and this is gold glitter in a clear vase with holographic hearts. It is such a beautiful topper, and it would literally turn any color polish that you have on your nails into a Valentine's Day mani, just for the simple fact that it has hearts in there. And last 
but not least, I want to give an honorable mention to a glitter topper polish that works all year round. And this is from the Dollar Tree. This is from Wet n Wild, the Wild Shine line. And it is in the color Hallucinate, Hallucination. And it's a holographic glitter topper. This glitter topper will make your nails look like you got holographic fairy dust on your nails. So if you don't have an intense holo like Miss Bliss from Color Club, you can just add a soft touch of holographic glitters to your nail polish, and I think your craving of holo will be satisfied with this one. All right, guys, so that's all I have for you today. Those are all the manning ideas I have for Valentine's Day. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, if you're looking for something more complex, a little bit more advanced level, make sure you click on the link and head to Mara's channel. She's gonna be doing some amazing nail art. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna be wearing on my nails for Valentine's Day, but I know I'm gonna go with the glitter, so I was thinking maybe doing a white base with uh, this kind of glitter that has some red. That way I have the red and the white. And I have a feeling that once I use this glitter, my nails are gonna turn like a light pink. But we'll see, I'll post a picture of what I end up going with on my Instagram. So make sure you follow me on Instagram as well. So I'm gonna leave you guys with the slideshow of more pictures from this Manny's, including close up of the bottles and all that stuff. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much, Mara, for this collab. I really enjoyed filming this video today. Have a fantastic day, guys, and I hope you all have a wonderful Valentine's Day, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.